All right, welcome to Far Beyond the Foundry. I'm your host, Doug Lindauer, and of course, we are here to explore what can be found inside of Star Trek Online's Foundry missions. Now, I've played just about everything in the game. Uh, there's supposed to be a new featured mission coming up soon. I don't know when, but here we go. We got Hearts and Minds coming up. Another Friday the 13th. That's fairly quickly. Kobayashi Maru's coming back next month. That's not too bad. That's a fun mission. I'll admit that. Item upgrade weekend. Yeah, rock on. We're going to need to grind out our uh, all those traces. I'll send them over to Pfeiffer and we'll get somebody upgraded to top level gear. Oh, but uh, yeah, we're going to play a game. We're going to play Time with Telpry uh, XR 377. I think I may have already played this once before in before we did Far Beyond the Foundry. Is that all the people leaving because I'm not doing... That could be. Oh. Hi, Red Joints. Yeah, we're gonna play uh, Time Will Tell. We're gonna we're playing Star Trek Online. It's uh, I like Star Trek. I always have. Um, I've just gotta set up her gear really quick. Her layout, attack pattern alpha. We need brace for impact. Look at that. It's just just jam stuff in here. This is special stuff. This goes usually in nine or nine and zero. Green energy cipher, and that's down here in eight. This is the important stuff. Weapons. Distribute shield power. Emergency power to shields. Engineering team. Engineering team. Basic maneuvers. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. He's I'll go over one more. I'm sorry. Say hey, that's just not quite right. There we go. Never use go down fighting. You sure why that did? Special attack. Bonus torp load. Cascade. There's science team. Oops. Silly goose. There we go. Now, this is important. I get, uh, did I put tactical fleet? Tactical initiative. Tactical teams. These are kind of important to a raider. I don't have time to think about it. Oh, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Gotta have my high yield torpedoes. That's new. Put it in there. All right. So let's get to the mission. Time will tell by XR-377. Hail, Dahar Master. We are receiving a message from the regional KDF command for the Omega Leona sector block. Apparently they have detected some kind of strange anomaly nearby Quonos, emanating from a system within the Kalos Expanse. They want to make sure that this isn't some kind of attempt by one of our enemies at a strike on the heart of the Empire. I gotta get away from these people. They would like us to take the Damar into the Kalos Expanse to find the source of the anomaly and investigate whatever it is we find there. We find a new kind of Federation weapon or any other threat, we are to destroy it with impunity. Your response, sir. Well, we will accept it. We will 
for the Empire and the brand new Bajoran Interceptor. I think it looks uh, pretty snazzy. It looks very Bajoran. A little plainish, but you know, it is what it is. Um, get a little visuals on it. There we go. So, to the Kalis Expanse we go. Where is the Kalos Expanse? There it is. I've never actually flown the Bajoran Interceptor in combat. This is going to be fun. Begin the strain. Receive the same anomaly. Sir, I've been able to pinpoint the location of the system within the Kalos Expanse containing this strange anomaly that Regional Command detected. Ray, and able to warp to its location on your order. Proceed. Indeed. Not too much talky. Let's get to the action. We have a good load. We're warping in. Nice looking space map. Sir, we have arrived. The anomaly is just where it is. We determined it to be. It's directly ahead. Initial scans coming in now, trying to match it with any known phenomenon in the ship's data banks. Hmm. Preliminary scans indicated a large level of chroniton particles. This does not bode well. Indeed, it sounds like trouble. Sir, we'll need to move the Damar and closer to investigate the anomaly. It's the only way to determine what it is. And make sure it's not some kind of Romulan or board plot against the Empire. And if it is, stop it. Take it in, take us in. Okay, the title of this one, this check mark is All the Particles in All the Wrong Places. I like cute names. Lord knows I've been accused of some bad puns in my life. Namely, the title of my most famous mission, 404 Error, Admiral Not Found. Get it? Because it's a Tholian web. Lol. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. I should feel bad. Sir, sensors have detected a ship in the center of the anomaly. It could be the source. It's a Fort Cha-class cruiser. The registry doesn't match any known vessels in the KDF. There appear to be life signs aboard, but there is some kind of interference. I'm unable to determine how many. Ready weapons! Our master, wait. If the ship is indeed the source of the anomaly, it would pay to get some answers before we do anything else. Oh, blow it up. All right. I'm being overridden by my own crew. I'm sorry, the one thing the Klingons do have going for them is the fact that a lot of the times when they blow these weird things up, it solves the problem. Alright, hail the Vorcha. Just great. Now what is it? Wait, you? Oh, oh no. What do you mean, me? Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. 
I have a sudden feeling we're suddenly in, in uh, cell block 1138. I'm not playing games. Answer to be destroyed. Be destroyed. Yeah, I am in cell block 1138. Uh, boring conversation anyway. I'm out. We're going to have company. They've closed the channel. We have a few options on how to proceed. We can either try to hell them again, beam over a boarding party, or open fire in order to disable their ship. That, there's always the option to destroy it, of course. And there's also the option of simply trying to scan the anomaly again at this range. And we may learn more of what's going on. Where are your orders? The Heartmaster! Something's gone wrong. We've been caught up in some kind of chronoton field emanating from the anomaly. Attempting to compensate. It's no good! It's as if the anomaly is warping the local gravity around it. Our impulse drives won't be enough to let us escape. Give me options now! Captain, my name is Ahmad Navad. The gravimetric disturbance your ship is trapped in is being caused by the chronoton field warping the local space-time around your vessel. You need to adjust your ship's drive core to emit a warp bubble around your ship nearby the anomaly. It should be enough for your ship to fall free from the field and escape. Uh, can you do it? Yep. Uh, looking at it that way, what you've said makes perfect sense. We should make a stationary warp bubble. Fly. It worked! We're free of the anomaly. No sign of it or the Vorchuk cruiser in the immediate vicinity. The Heartmaster, we should report this to Klingon High Command immediately. Whatever we just encountered was far from normal, and we should debrief them in case there is a further threat to the Empire. We should avoid transmitting this information across open channels, and should proceed to Kronos to inform them directly. Alright, set the course. Warp to Kronos. I got a bad feeling this is going to be a Wab Vojevic situation. No. Should have reset to Star Trek Online, Ace. I don't know why it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't work. I said to Star Trek Online, but sometimes when I do it on the secondary computer, it does not. Move over. It's Thursday. I do supposed to do Star Trek Online for at least an hour. Sir, we've arrived in the Kono system. Uh, something is wrong. Sir, I just have a feeling. What? Impossible. Sensors have picked up Federation starships inside the system. There's no way they could have penetrated this far into Empire-controlled space. The KDF even fire upon those with so-called diplomatic immunity when they get this close to Quonos. Sir, there is a Starfleet vessel directly ahead of the Damar and approaching our position. They're attempting to hail us. Answer the hail. Unidentified vessel, this is Captain Tashoni of Federation Protective Task Force. Your ship is not transmitting proper Klingon operation registration codes. Please stand down, please stand down power down your weapons, and prepare for boarding. Uh, what's going on here? You know perfectly well the rules and regulations at play here. Without proper registration codes, you are unable to operate your vessel within this sector of Federation-controlled space. Now, again, power down your systems and prepare to have your vessel confiscated while you and your crew will await questioning before being released. Otherwise, you'll be forced to take action. Federation control space? Of course, it has been for... Wait, don't tell me your vessel is on some kind of sleeper ship. You don't actually think the Empire is still... Um, get us in contact with Starfleet Command. We may have an issue here. 
Leon, Captain, you and your vessel are under arrest. Do not take any form of hostile action or you will be fired upon. Answer my questions. Wait, what? Are you actually resisting? I uh, ask again, Klingon Captain. Please stand down. Respond. Well, if you will not answer my questions, you are in my way. What do we got at 14 kilocams? This one. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I forgot to do one little thing. Oh, it's always one little thing, isn't it? Jesus has weak shields. Sarah, two more groups of Starfleet vessels are moving to engage us. Yeah. Well, at least he's nice and giving us a frigate group and a science vessel. Take on the science vessel first. They're a lot more dangerous. Pop, 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 fire! Well, that went better than I thought it would. Usually a science vessel just chews me up and spits me out. Frigates aren't usually a problem. A good moving ship. All enemy contacts within local range destroyed. However, long range scans indicate there is still a Starfleet presence nearby. This this doesn't make any sense. Enough, I want answers. First city is going to be the best place to find the answers we need. We should approach the planet and beam down. Hopefully there will be an end to this foolish and disturbing riddle. Okay. Obviously we wobbo jebbed it.
Starmaster, we should only send you and a small away team down to the city. We're still detecting Federation vessels in the vicinity. You only take a small team. If more Starfleet arrive, the Damar should be able to take care of them easily. Well then, let's beam down. So far, fights there are not exactly, you know, they're about the same as I put in my, in 404. He split them up into two groups. I had three widely spaced groups, because I was having a, a blockade. We're here. Apparently a different portion of the first city is being used than we are used to. The vast majority of life signs are concentrated in the indoor facilities like this one. I had just beamed into the largest of them. Right now we're in what looks to be a storage facility. Figured it's smart not to attract too much attention. Find more people, we'll need to make our way to the main commons. Oh, cowardly new world. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, look, there are other people here. You said this place would be empty. You there. We have questions. Look how they're dressed. They look ridiculous. What's wrong with how we're dressed? Where'd you get all your clothes? From scrapyards and fear factor fur factories? Excuse me? Or have some respect. Can't you see they are traditionalists? You may not follow the old ways, but at least honor those who do. Elders, forgive us. We apologize for this dishonor. Well, what do you mean old ways? I don't understand. What are they talking about? Listen, I know we're not supposed to be here, but we heard this warehouse used to be some kind of battle arena, and we wanted to see it. Just don't let the Federation patrols know we snuck in, please. How did the Federation get here? They've always been here, haven't they? I can't remember a time when they weren't. I mean, except when my father and grandfather tell stories, of course. What year is it? It's 2502, for crying out loud. It's the 26th century already. They always die with the old empire. Perhaps people like you are living in the past. What? It's obvious now that the anomaly has thrown us into some kind of strange future. We need more answers, but I doubt these children will be able to give us any. We need to move on. Maybe somewhere of more appreciable value in the main comments. Something we can use. Alright. Citizen, have you seen a group of kids around here? This is a restricted area for mine. Wait, are those weapons? I'm going to have to ask you and your friends to hand over those weapons and come with us. Hold on just a moment. You can have my weapon when you pry it from my cold dead hands. Oh. Town, you crazy. You got by or killed. How dare you? Well, I gotta start off with a commander level fight. They like ground combat, like me. Come on, Bayor. Quit playing dead. This does not bode well. Federation teams are walking with free reign in the capital of the Klingon homeworld. It's some kind of madness. We need to learn more. Find out what's going on. Get some answers. We gotta find someone with answers, and they're capitalized and there's more information the 
kind of moving about. Something not to attract any attention. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Hey, nice shoulder pads. Not wearing shoulder pads. Oh. I'm not wearing shoulder pads. I'm a Cardassian, for crying out loud. Okay, we will talk to Zam Redclaw. Well, I thought you might pick me out of a crowd. Good. Ahmad said it was only a matter of time. Him and his puns. You can call me Zam. Zam Reclaw. Something tells me you got a lot of questions. And you better have some answers for me. In case you haven't figured it out, you're in the future. Well, an alternate future. The anomaly you got caught in flung you forward to this place. Needless to say, not everything is right here, and we'd really like you to help get back to where you belong. Why help us? What makes you think we want to see this future happen any more than you do? Listen, we're the only ones with the right answers for you, or any for that matter. We've got a way of sending you, your ship, and your crew back to where and when you belong. But an open bar isn't a place to discuss it. Especially after stirring up the Federation beehive like you have. What do you have in mind? Take this map. Go to the east exit of the main commons. And go to the northeast corridor. This map will lead you to a safe place. Where we have what we need to send you home and be able to answer any questions when you get there. Dad, I'll be there when you arrive. Okay. Try to skirt the wall again. Try not to aggro nobody. Trying to go to the east corridor. And there's a Federation squad. Um... Yeah, they don't have a switch, and I kind of messed that up, so. where we're supposed to go. Open the door. Head to the safe house. We're seeing if we get a good load. Yep, we did. Hidden among old memories. Let's look around. I have two interactions. You're here, good. I'd like to say we've been waiting for you, but in truth, that's just a matter of perspective. And it only served to set up a self-righteous joke on my part. I like our safe house. Rather iconic, in a way. Well, what is this place? Not recognize it? I suppose not many people were privy to see it in your day. It's the remains of the Great Hall of the High Chancellor's Security Bunker. 
All that's left what seems to be an old age to most people you find here. They're using it as secure storage, but it's enough out of the way and so few people know about it anymore that it's assured us of some privacy. Who are you? The on intelligence of the Empire during your day would tell uh, you that we are nobody, but that's only because they know we work better that way. If you need a name for us, you can use the name of the initiative that we are founded under, the Klingon Temporal Initiative. We are the KTI. Think of us as the Empire's equivalent to the Federation's Temporal Division, if you've ever heard of them. We're the dark little corner in Klingon intelligence responsible for defending the honor and integrity of the Empire throughout the ages, as it were. Well, what are you doing here? We're here for you. It's our job to see that you are sent back to your home where you belong. In case you haven't noticed, the state of the Empire depends on it. Well, if we were thrown into the past, we'd have to... Well, yeah, we're thrown into the future. We're supposed to stay here. That's what I put under w Wab Vojeb. Oh, well. But you people are the reason we ended up here. When you encountered us the first time in the Kalos Expanse, we were conducting a mission to stop and bring back a fool attempting to change the past. Something about preventing his house from falling in front of power or some such. However, while retrieving him from the makeshift floral device he had constructed on his workshop malfunction, causing the anomaly you encountered us in. Your ship was caught up in the anomaly, and when you finally manipulated the warp bubble to fall clear of it, you arrived in the future. Yeah. Mm, that was bad. So this isn't the normal future. Nope, this isn't the rightful destiny of the Empire. But it has been an interesting trip through the looking glass. It reminds me of Shakespeare, The Tempest, O oh, Brave New World. Yeah, more like Cowardly New World to me. Uh, it is crucial to the proper future of the Klingon Empire and people that you return to your proper time and place in history. Otherwise, this twisted future will come to pass. A future where the Klingon Empire lost the war to the Federation. No great victory for the Empire exists in this place past. No equal peace treaty or ceasefire. Simply a pure, unmitigated success for the Federation. Without you, the Empire not only loses the war, but all it stands for. Without you, the Empire is no more, and I need to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. Time will tell. Some things are simple and some things are complicated. For want of a single nail, an empire can come crumbling down. It may not even be you. It could be simply a member of your crew. That new orderly, perhaps? Or maybe it's that death and that galvanizes the fleet into achieving the greatest victory of the war. I won't say why or how you become so crucial. That, after all, is up to you. But you and your crew have seen what happens if you're not where you belong. What is it that I heard once? The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So how do we save the Empire? Sam is working on formatting the temporal nodes so we will be installing your ship to send you home. We need your help with some final particulars, so go speak to him. We have all the time in the world. We have all the time in the world. Are you ready to get back home? Yeah, you bet. I need to get these temporal nodes formatted so we can install them on the Noir. Once they are tuned to your proper time, they will take your ship and everyone back to where you belong with a push of a button. We just need to get them charged and properly bound to your time period. How do we do that? You just need to access that other console to the right of me. When you do, you should be able to pick up on your body's natural common chronometric signature. After you do that, I can take care of the rest. Alright, bleep bloop. Bleep bloop. I have unlocked an achievable. Alright, that should do it. I can take care of the rest of the formatting from here. Good, I'm sick of this place. This is the Damar. We have a situation up here. Make it quick. There's a Federation fleet moving to engage us, and we are not. Uh, we, and we are alone up here. We need you on the bridge if we're going to be able to survive and get home in one piece. If you're going to make a miracle happen, you better act fast. Damn, go with them. Prepare their vessel with the nodes. The rest of our team will stay here. Finish prepping the devices and mop up here. Pomalia, 
you hold off those Federation as long as you can without destroying yourself. Today is not a good day to die. Not, not for you. If you say so. Sir, we have a solid lock on your away team and your guest. Ready to beam you to the Damar on your order. Make it so. Make it so. It's a great YouTube video. You should check it out. It's Captain Card singing Make It So to uh, Let It Go by uh, Elsa from Frozen. It's hilarious. So far, this is a really solid mission. It's pretty entertaining. Not a whole lot of action, though. Would have kind of appreciated a little more action. But maybe I'm going to get all the action I can get. Our master, you arrived on the bridge just in time. The Federation fleet has just dropped out of warp and was holding fire. We're receiving a hail from their lead craft. Uh, before we answer, were their numbers? The odds are not in our favor. I didn't ask if this is the Hunger, Hunger Games. Even if these ships fly as poorly as the others the Damar encounter while you are on the surface, it will be an extreme challenge. I would not be for attacking them if we were trying to stay alive. Well, let's talk to them. This is Admiral Twen of the 5th Fleet. Klingon vessel, you have provoked an attack with members of the Federation Task Force charged with protecting the Klingon homeworld of Kwonos, in which you've damaged or destroyed 21 vessels. No, it was 5. We are giving you the option of staying down before we open fire on you. I am not culturally insensitive or historically ignorant. I understand if you believe you are attempting to die well. But hear me when I ask to put aside the such barbarian past thoughts to avoid further bloodshed. Stand down and surrender your vessel, and you and your crew will be treated fairly and with dignity. Uh, wait, Tactile's ship destroyed how many vessels while we were on the surface? They were easy targets. There really wasn't much fight to it. It was almost made the battles not worth it. No challenge. Uh, that might have been bad. Yeah, now we're going to pay for it. Captain, please. If it is your intention, you will not bring back the Klingon Empire this way. You have no hope of fighting us. The Klingon Empire is dead. You don't understand. No, the only way the Klingon Empire will truly die is on the battlefield. Damar, this is Captain Klon of the Klingon Resistance Ship Corps. We have taken your fiery battle into the skies above our homeworld as our sign to rise up and bring our full forces to bear. That's B-E-A-R, guys. On our oppressors. Unless you're really intentioning to flash your oppressors. Flash, flash them like, you know, not with, never mind. <laughs> now hold on just a second. You've proven to be good warriors, I will not deny that, but two ships is hardly a rebellion. This still will not be much of a vice. Can we just all calm down and talk about this? You underestimate us. It will be your undoing. Too long have we you have regaled us in the trappings of weak men. Too too too, oh, oh. too long you have forced the sons and daughters of Kalos to live without honor. This all ends today. All KRS vessels to cloak and charge disruptors. Reinforcements? I, uh, when? How many are there? I see. Uh, tactical charge weapons. Looks like things are a little bit more even. All ships open fire. Alright, well, I didn't really want to fire, but... Ah, oh, fire! And the science vessel is toast. Well, they really gave me a lot of friends, so that really wasn't... It looked good, but wasn't really that... On. 
Oh, the cord's all the way back here. I'm all like, wait, what? Lol. All right. We'll hustle at Vaughn back to Buffalo. Ha ha, we've done it. They're in a route. Oh, right, no E. The day is ours. This is a glorious day for... Dot, 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 dot. The Valkyrie have returned. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, yeah. Ray shields. Heal. At least he didn't despawn our friends. Some people do that accidentally. Alright. Supposed to be one more, but I don't see him. Oh, there it is. The displaced Nors. They're really weird. Alright. Alright, Falkyrie are dead. There, we've stopped that one, but portals are opening up everywhere. There's a transmission being sent out from them. Should I put it on screen? Okay. Cling on, people. You have let yourself become weak, and now we have come to claim what is rightly ours. Kneel and die. I see why this was made. Made the featured mission, because this is tying in with what they're doing, so. Alright, this is not good. This is Klon. We are already receiving reports of demons in the streets of Konos. The Valkyrie are invading the world. They are attempting to fulfill the prosperous of the cursed King Molors to return and claim his kingdom. Finally, destroying Kalos as Klingon Empire. No, not now. After everything we've accomplished. All ships, destroy these demons. Destroy them all. Something in Klingon. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Your ship is all wired for the nodes. We need you to get out of here. Ahmad should be set up on his end now. All right. Yeah, let's go home. I don't want to fight any more Falkyrie. Reach the planet. All right, here's the planet. There, I don't have a way to lock onto Ahmad Navad. His team or any of the temporal nodes. We need to beam down. All right, we'll go back down. This seems like a little bit of a waste of time, but I mean, really, you know, we've seen the future. We've had our fun. We should just be able to go home now. The sound of the phasers whispering in your ear. Can you feel it coming down to the one who's poking, prodding till we're there? Oh, sorry. Tells you I like to sing. I don't know why all of a sudden it's so hot. We're under attack. The end is nigh. Well, at least it's spelled Naira. You can spell it N Y E, and we'd be attacked by, you know. Science guys. Those guys look tough, but they really aren't. Kind of funny. Now, Ravagers are pretty tough. But it looks like we have some friends here already. Okay. Bleep loop. Oh, just like the Felkry to have all of a sudden demons. Lots of help around here, though. Just getting a couple of shots in as we go along. Sometimes that's not a good thing. Sometimes having help is good so you can put a big one, 
a big battle in. And sometimes it's well not as desirable, you know, because Yeah, see I only had a couple of shots in each time. They're too good. What took you so long? We've charged and prepped the nodes. All we need to do is install them. I've had never seen Grathar made flesh in this place. Good, let's go. Yeah, I just want to go now, you know. Beam us up! Can the devices too? Oh, there are the devices. See, he actually has devices. That's cool. Attention to detail. I approve. The right man, the wrong place. Thanks for having us aboard, Captain. I promise we won't be here long. Zam should have sort should have the temporal nodes installed shortly, but we should move to beyond the Shire Moon to activate them. Trust me when I say we can live without the added attention when we leave. Traveling there should give him enough time to have them installed properly. Let's go. Don't die. Well, it's nice of him to tell me. I don't want to be dead. I want to be alive. Or a cowboy. Alright, we're through the Falkyrie blockade. Should have gone high too. See, they've changed a lot of the cooldowns too. We're skimming that rock. We're all set. We'll return to the ship to our time. Come on, let's get out of here. I guess you can stay back there and kill Falkyrie if you like, but we're not really here for that. Sir, I think we've arrived, but there's no way of knowing uh, until we contact someone or get the ship time clocks reset. That's odd. The time clocks are already reset. It says we are exactly when we left. Well, Ahmad, are we home? Our master, Ahmad's gone. There's no sign of his team anywhere, and the temporal nodes are gone. They were all right here. The only thing we found out of place is a single strip of gold plus latinum to where the nodes are hooked up. I've got a letter for you. What happened? Sensors are picking up something. It's a ship, a trading vessel. Toughly classed. They are decloaking. I didn't even know those vessels had cloaks. Perhaps this one has been altered. Talk to the... Uh, oh, God. It's a Back to the Future reference. The Harmaster Nalati? The Harmaster Nalati? Quamalia? Ferengi Central Reserve, I have a letter for you. Please take it and send an electronic confirmation that you received it so I can get paid. Ferengi Central Reserve, yeah, yeah, yeah. The longest lasting and most secured banking firm on Ferenginar. We treat your money like it's ours because it is. We just hold it for you. If you want a low interest account that you can trust for over 100 years, can you come to us? 
Now, if you please, our messenger service isn't the most lucrative, so I would like to get back to making real money. So if you don't mind, hurry up. Transfer it over. Ahem, this letter is LOD, Latinum on delivery. You owe me a strip of Latinum. Okay. Very good. Since there was no insurance on the package, you get it as is. No refunds. Good day. Be gone! That's strange. There's just a clock in the package. Wait, there's the letter. It appears from a man Nevad. But he was just here. How could he have... I don't think I like dealing with these KTI agents. Let me read it. You are receiving this message and you arrive precisely where and when you left. Sorry to leave you in such a hurry, but we figured we could save you some time and trouble this way. We've already wasted enough time with you as it is. And to our master, to all your crew, it was an honor. I would have liked uh, until next time. Yeah, sorry. You really think what he said was real about us making that much of a difference on the future? Or that without us, this twisted place will come to pass? Do you believe what he said? Are we really that important to the Empire? Yes. Time will tell. Yes. Harry did. Harry did play this. I don't remember this at all. I really don't. But I raided it at one point. I know I, I've played XR 377's missions before. I must have. Yeah, another. Yeah, this is great. I really kind of enjoyed it. Um, the maps were great. Combat was not overwhelming. I would have liked maybe a little bit more. But what am I saying? I only had like three pieces of combat in 404. It was a story, for crying out loud. You know, I put a little bit more combat in later missions and earlier missions and some missions had nothing but combat. Um, he's just as pop culture-y as me, but just in a different way. I try to keep mine limited to Star Trek, I think. Um, or I go over the top. And when I do go over the top, I do it in over-the-top missions like Klingon Fry Tribble. Um, but I'm going to leave it at five. This is this is a good mission, so please play it whenever you get the chance, and I'm glad that Quamalia's uh, Bajoran fighter was not too, too bad in tonight's uh, Far Beyond the Foundry. So that's, uh, looks like 50 minutes, and that seems like a reasonable time for playing Far Beyond the Foundry. So, uh, in the words of, well, let's go ahead and do that. So, we have this. Remember, uh, if you like what you saw tonight, please follow me at twitch.tv slash Doug Glendower. Or if you see it on the archive, or if you just happen to come across it, or whatever. Uh, you can follow us at the, the Cat Ellis Thane on Twitter. That's only my humor account. No politics. We just try to keep it on, on humor and the games. Try to keep it friendly. Ah, uh, Glenn's Arcade is the Facebook page. You can find these uh, videos and other things that we've got going now. We're doing screenshots and whatnot. We're hoping eventually to have contests and whatnot. We're working on that. You can find Archive down there at www.cavaliercalvary.com. Still working on other projects. You can see past projects, present projects, and maybe a te teaser or two of future projects. Finally, if you like the game Star Trek Online, please go to the link below and check out the forums. And with that, I wish everybody a good night and may you boldly go.